Hi, pioneers. This talk is about core team initiated apps. PyCoreTeam will develop and improve certain apps, or guide a few ecosystem apps to experiment and create a high utility, and to build the ecosystem and organize the community. I will introduce a few apps that the core team is considering improving and building ourselves, or guiding ecosystem third-party developers to build, pending community input for us to prioritize. We'd like to hear what pioneers think about these apps after watching this session, so we can decide how we will spend our time and resources next. Please express your thoughts in the topic on the home screen. Keep in mind that the core team's phase two mission is to achieve value creation through utility and decentralization, while growing the community and building the ecosystem. Now I'm going to talk about the apps we want to improve and build. PyChats has been the oldest and most used app inside Py. This is the place where Py community's global conversations are held, where old pioneers discuss Py and socialize, and where new pioneers are helped by other peers when they get to know Py. Over the past few months, we have added a new add-on feature. Topics to facilitate forum-like theme-based discussions. Next, we'd like to improve PyChat, including better moderation features, overall organization usability, better spam control system, either automatically or crowdsourced. The core team has been considering and exploring mechanisms to integrate the usage of Py inside PyChat for spam and troll controls and also for achieving more constructive conversations. If such experiments are successful, not only would it help experiment with the high utility, but it also benefits the community because pioneers will enjoy the chat rooms more and more community activities can be organized through the PyChats. The next app we are considering building is called Home Screen Social Media Channel. So far, the Pi's app's home screen has been used only by the core team to make announcements and organize community activities. In a sense, the core team has been the only content creator on the home screen. However, we have plans to slowly open up the home screen channel for more content creators other than the core team itself to broadcast their content. For example, the home screen channel can be initially opened up to content created by chat moderators who may provide bite-sized educational content about Pi for the, community to, for the community to address pioneers' questions in addition to answering them in the chats. Next, it can be open to maybe good content creators on the internet, even outside Pi Network, influencers on YouTube or Instagram, to bring more interesting content for pioneers inside the app and to experiment with Pi utility. The type of content can expand from initially only about Pi to more general good content. Of course, the core team expects to integrate certain use of Pi to curate the content and organize non-core team creators' access to the home screen channel that reaches millions of pioneers. This is not only part of the Pi utility experiment, but also attempts to innovate how quality content can be achieved and consumed in social media. Inside the core team, we call this idea a scarce social media channel, as opposed to the currently abundant millions of social media channels where everyone can be a host, on Instagram, YouTube, for example. Such abundance of channels also creates a low signal-to-noise ratio, information overload, and information signals caused by the machine learning algorithm curation. The Pi Scarce social media channel is, tries to solve such problems of social media by providing high signal content through the moderation of a token mechanism and human crowd curation. Now I'm going to talk about a couple of apps we want to guide. First is crowdsourcing based translation app. As pioneers are from almost every corner of the world, 
The fact that our app is only in English has been an impeding factor for our users to understand the Pi vision, mission, or generally how the app works, and difficult for our existing users to explain to potential new users. The translation of the app into different languages has been something that the community has been asking for, and we want to build it. While the core team can build the translations of the app in a centralized way, the core team would also like to see or guide third-party ecosystem developers to create a translation crowdsourcing app. The crowdsourcing-based translation app will allow us to decentralize the burden of translation to an unlimited number of languages in the world, and also provides agility on an ongoing basis when new updates or interfaces are deployed to the app. This translation app will receive voluntary translations of all texts of the Pi app, including app actions, instructions, or announcement content. It will also need a, to institute a mechanism for evaluation, selection, and validation by other peer pioneers to ensure the accuracy of the translation in the specific language. Then it automatically plugs into the backend of the Pi app so that phones with the specific language setting can display our app in that language. This app will be primarily an ecosystem app for the benefits of the community. The second community app, ecosystem app we want to guide is Community KYC Solutions. Pi has a strict policy of one account per person. This requires a high degree of accuracy to establish that members in the network are genuine human beings. In order to prevent individuals being able to hoard Pi through creating fake accounts unfairly, so KYC is an important and necessary procedure inside our ecosystem. Current Pi KYC is conducted by a third-party KYC provider. However, as mentioned multiple times, the ultimate goal is to enable every pioneer in the network to pass KYC or prove their humanness eventually for the mainnet. Due to cost, coverage, accessibility by pioneers in different regions, we hope to develop a decentralized, reliable, low to no cost KYC process customized for the Pi community. We hope this project to be a courting guided and community sourced project because all pioneers care about how KYC is conducted and also because third-party developers from different regions may be more aware of different regional challenges or issues in the KYC, KYC process. The core team will lead the project but welcome pioneers and developers who are interested in solving this problem generally or specifically for a, a different region to contribute ideas and engineering time. If the project is community sourced, the code of the KYC project needs to be open source so that it is publicly auditable. We have received many KYC proposals from the community. This project hopes to gather such community enthusiasts and more to develop our community KYC solution together. One of such KYC proposals from community members will be demonstrated following this courting talk. These are the apps that the core team have been considering improving, building, and guiding. And we want to hear what you think. Later in this session are talks by third-party developers. Through the Convention Developer Speaker applications, we received many application submissions and surfaced a few interesting ideas and thoughts by pioneers about potential apps on the platform. We selected a few of such developers who were able to articulate their apps and idea and present the demo in a video to showcase here. The later presentations also include an update from our first third-party app, Fever IQ, about what Pioneer's contributions to their app has turned into. There is a disclaimer. Selection of the apps to be presented at the convention does not mean the acceptance of the app to be deployed on the platform. The selection of the apps to be deployed on Pi platform will be a separate process later. The convention is meant to foster discussions and further inspire innovations. Thank you.
subscribe to our pie whales youtube channel and earn pie rewards